Hi, welcome to Lunar Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a timeless general love reading for Cancer. You could have Cancer in your Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus placements. Now, Cancer, please keep in mind these readings are general, so take what resonates, leave the rest. If it's not your story, do not try to make it fit. Um, everything is subject to free will and the will of the divine. No one is free from law of cause and effect, and roles can be reversed. What that means is this could be something that you're person is doing or going on around them. This could be something that you're doing or something that's going on around you. This could be a family member or a friend who's going through this um, and you just happen to know about it. Also, other messages that do not pertain to love sometimes do come through, so keep that in mind, but not always. If you need or want to get a reading that is tailored um, specifically to your energy and or situation, my email will be in the description box below. I do offer $10 off of first time clients who get their first reading with me, okay? Okay, let's see. I'm going to put your person over here. And then if I have time, I'll look at you over here. Okay. So that way there's less confusion. But obviously the roles can always be reversed. So show me Cancer's person, please, in love. Show me Cancer's person, please, in love. Okay, we have nostalgia. Okay, so maybe they're missing you. Show me Cancer's person, please. Swept away. Okay. Show me Cancer's person, please. Walk away. Okay. This person misses the love that you gave them. Point blank period. Because you walk because you actually walked away from them and they missed the love that you gave to them, that you provided them. Show me Cancer's person, please. Okay. Yeah. You got let go. And then you have true love. This person now see. Okay. Let me just put it to you like this. This person's missing you. They wish they would have swept you off your feet the way they should have in the beginning. Because now that you have walked away and let them go, now they realize you that your love was true. Yep. This person is missing the shit out of you. <laughs> I'm not even, I'm not even, it's not, I know it's not funny, but I'm just saying like for real, like this person is missing the shit out of you. Bad. Like, I mean, bad, bad. Like they got it bad for you. Like cancer. What did you do to this person? <laughs> I mean, obviously you walked away for a reason, but, but wow. Let me write that down because I don't forget. Oh boy. All right, let's see. Tell me about nostalgia. What is this person reminiscing about missing about cancer? Show me nostalgia. Well, I just heard they should have, they should, uh, what's the saying? This person, Cancer, okay, that's missing you like crazy because you walked away and let them go. Now they realize that, that your love was true. Now they realize that. This person played stupid games and they won a fucking stupid prize. You know what I'm saying? They shouldn't have messed around, right? They shouldn't have been playing games. That's what I just heard. You know, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. All right, well, show me nostalgia, please. Treasure. They miss you, but they also miss what you provided them. Okay, why well, swept away here for a cancerous person? Swept away. They also feel like you have somebody else that's sweeping you off your feet, maybe? No. Yeah, they didn't sweep you off your feet. They didn't try to, they didn't treasure you. They didn't cherish you, right? Now, now that you walked away and let them go, now, now they want to treasure you. Now they want to miss you. Now they want to cherish you, yada, yada, yada. But you're like, no, you can't sweep me away. No, you're not. No. Why just walk away here? Okay. Soul level. They understand you walked, not only did you walk away, but you untied yourself at a soul level with this person. You left this person at a soul. Wow, that's deep. You left that person at a soul level. 
you didn't just leave them. You didn't just break it off, walk away from them, whatever. You left them at a soul level. Do you know how deep that is? Do you know how, when you, wow. They feeling it now. I tell you right now, they feeling it right now. You let them go at a soul level. Like you like, no, just no, just no. Mm -mm. Why is let go here? Friends first. You, you won't even, you're not even friends with them anymore. Proud of you. Cancer, I'm proud of you. You're not even friends with this person anymore. And I'm not trying to laugh at them, okay? I'm not trying to be rude. But I'm a Scorpio, so I kind of laugh at this. because, And it's giving me chills because it's like not only did you walk away, but you left them at a soul level. Like, no, you're not even going to be friends with them. Now they want to treasure you. Now they want to love you. Now they want to commit to you. Now they know that you your love was true. Now they want to be your true love. Whatever, whatever, right? They should have thought about that, right? Wow. You didn't just leave them. You nothing them. You literally, you are literally nothing them, even at a soul level. I don't care. You can call it twin flames. You can call it whatever. I don't care. You are literally, you, you nothing this person so hard. You nothing this person so hard, Cancer, that you nothing them at your soul level. Like, not a zip, zero, dunzo, 100%. Wow. You're not even going to be friends. Nope. Okay, show me true love. Why is that here? Love story. Yeah. This person knows that they done fucked up. Okay, they done messed up. What could have been a true love, true love story. Now they want to, now they want to think about, now they're nostalgic about this. They should have thought about that prior. What else about this person? Cancer's person. Yeah. Secrets. They kept a lot of secrets from you. They kept telling you it wasn't the right time. They were confused. They played, you know, again, they played a stupid game. They won a stupid prize by you walking them away, walking away, letting them go and nothing them at a soul level. You straight up nothing this person. Like, nothing. Do you understand? Okay. What else for a cancer's person? Lucky in love. They Now they want to feel like they were lucky in love. They played a game. They rolled the dice. They messed up. Yeah. Yes, honey. They played a game with your loyalty. Yes. In love. Now they want to be in love. Now they want to tell you all the things that they should have said before, do all the things they should have done before, but you know, it's a little too late, you know, it's a little too late. This person's hurting bad. If you are worried about this person missing you, if you were worried if this, does this person ever miss you? Do they ever think about you? Are they hurting for what they did? Yada, yada, yada. Let me tell you right now, this person is wrecked. I mean, wrecked. Cause you not, you didn't just walk away or let them go you nothing them at a soul level that's deep that's a, that's that's real deep cancer that's deep let's see how you feel about them show me cancer how does cancer feel about this person that they have nothing sweet honey yeah you feel like you were very sweet to them or you feel like they don't deserve the honey. They don't deserve the goods. You know, they don't deserve it. What else, please, for cancer? Shift gears. Yeah, you changed gears here. You went from being sweet honey to I'm nothing you at a soul level. Wow. You nothing them so hard. I dare to say this person's soul is leaving their body. You nothing them so hard. Like, I'm, woo. Spicy cancer. What else for cancer? Yeah, memories. Like, you know how this person played you. 
you have some good memories of this person, sure, absolutely. But they kept a lot of secrets from you. Mm -hmm. And I feel like you found out and now you've literally nothing them at a soul at, at, at a soul level. Yeah. Yep, heartbreak. They broke your heart for the last time. For the last time. What else for cancer, please? And divine timing. You knew it was time to deuces out, peace out this person. Wow, you really nothing them. <laughs> it's almost like Scorpionic, to be honest. Maybe you have, some of you have Scorpio in your chart somewhere. Seriously, you gave them a, a, Scorp a Scorpionic door slam. If you don't know what that is, look up a Scorpio door slam. That's what I feel like you did here. You nothing them so hard, like my soul is, you know, whatever. So at a soul level, their soul left their body. Like, seriously. Why is sweet honey here for cancer? Dream lover. You know that you're a dream lover here. You know you bring the goods. You be the, bring the sweet. Why is shift gears here? Yep. Nope. Nope. You're shifting gears. You're changing. Like, nope. Mm -mm. Memories. You have memories of heartbreak about this person. <clears throat> Maybe you have some sweet memories. You realize that you are worthy. You do, you are like a dream lover. Ain't nobody perfect though, Cancer. So don't get too, you know, don't get don't get too big headed about that. Okay. Every, but you do love well. Okay, I will say that you do love very very well. But everyone's got their quirks and everyone's got their issues. I'm not trying to inflate anyone's ego here. Okay, just saying. But you have some memories. Uh, you know, that might be good, okay? But the most of your memories <clears throat> is of heartbreak with dealing with this person. And divine timing that play here, you're done. Show me memories. Okay. Twin flame. You feel like this person's your twin flame. But even then, even then, you nothing them. You're done. Heartbreak, why is it here, please? Karmic ties. Yeah, listen. You thought this person was your twin flame, but really they were your karmic tie. You thought they were your twin flame, but in reality, they were your karmic tie. And then divine timing came into play and said, no more. No more. Show me divine timing. Why is I here for cancer? Relationship. Yep. It was time to let it go. Yep, retreat at the bottom of the deck. It was it was time to let them go, move away. But you did it, but you did it at such a, a deep level that you at your soul, like you straight up nothing this person, like one hundred percent. Um, let's see. Show me cancerous person. Oh, that's too many. <clears throat> Show me cancerous person, please. Nine of Wands reversed. They were very, very defensive towards you, Queen of Cups. Now they might, now they might be saying, "I'll come in, I'll protect you." This, that, and the other. Um, no. Mm -mm. This person feels like you're being defensive. The magician could be done with a Virgo, Gemini, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person is trying to manifest you back. Which, by the way, if you try to manifest another person, that's considered magic. Because you're not supposed to fuck with free will. I'm not saying you. I'm talking about this person. Just I'm just letting you know in general. Okay? You can't manifest a specific person. Because that's considered magic. You can't go against free will. Show me cancer over here. But this person, your person, or your past person, or whatever, they're trying to manifest you back. Um, Yeah, this person, you thought they were twin flame, but really they were karmic tie. You straight up nothing, this person. All right, show me cancer, please. Death card, Scorpio, gone. You you ended it, or you will be ending it. With the four of cups in the reverse, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, because you see the truth about this person. You want change. So the death card is about a death, transformation, and rebirth. So you're becoming like a phoenix. Like I'm telling you, you might be taking on Scorpionic energy, or you're dealing with a Scorpio, or doesn't matter what sign, but you're taking on scorpionic energy here because you see the truth about something. What else, please, for cancer? What I say, you see the truth. 
page of source, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You see the truth about this person over here that you've been dealing with or are currently dealing with. Because this could also be future predictive. This could be something that you're doing in the future. My readings can tend to be future predictive, especially my personal readings. You're moving away. Six of Swords, Will of Fortune. Meanwhile, this person wants to hold on to you. Okay. Wow. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Sorry, my heating pad keeps falling. I have to have that for my back and my shoulders and stuff. It hurts a lot. Um, what do I want to do? I want to take into the extended and I want to get the tea. I'm going to use my, the decks I can't use, my real spicy, spicy decks that I can't use on YouTube. And my tarot of sexual, sexual magic that has a lot of nudity in it. I'm going to use that. And I want to see, look at this person. I'm going to get all the tea, all the dirt on this person. I want to get a little bit of tea on you as well. And then I want to see what's going, what's going to happen. Is, is it ever going to come out? Are you ever going to take this person back? Um, if not, is there something new and better coming towards you? Okay. That link to the extended will be in the description box below, as well as the comment section below. Um, if you need or want to get a personalized reading that is tailored specifically to your energy and or situation, the email is in the description box below as well. Please don't forget to, um, I'm so freaking proud of you though. <laughs> like the way you're doing this is like so scorpionic. I'm fucking proud. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be a dick. Okay. I'm just saying like, I'm just proud. Okay. I'm just really proud. <laughs> Anyways. I'm proud of you. Um, yeah. Uh, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And as always, Cancer, take care of yourself. Till next time. Bye.